Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Gianni Sanders. I am your infidelity recovery specialist. I help women heal their heartbreak and save their marriages. If that sounds like something you're interested, make sure you stick around. So today, I'm talking about one of the biggest challenges that I face when it comes to my clients and um, their healing journeys. So one of the trickiest things of healing after infidelity is that it feels like such an external thing, right? Like he had an affair, he did something out there, out there, and all the consequences of his actions and his decisions seem to be happening to you. And so it all feels very external. But the truth is that healing and moving forward is internal work. So we waste so much time trying to control him, to see what he's up to, to figuring out what he's thinking, figuring out what he's feeling, but it gets you nowhere in your own healing journey. So the path to healing happens when an internal focus occurs, right? So shifting from focusing on him to focusing on your internal experience of what's happening. You have to figure out what it is in order to address it, right? So your husband had an affair and you made it mean, for example, that you weren't good enough for him. If you were good enough, then he would be satisfied and he wouldn't have done this, right? So just to break it down, what I mean is the external focus would be trying to change yourself into what you think he considers good enough, right? So that he can remain faithful and your relationship can continue. But that is a waste of time because by definition, it won't ever be good enough given the fact that you've decided you aren't. So that would just be an ongoing cycle, right? So the effective way of healing is realizing that he doesn't get to decide if you're good enough or not regardless of his actions, so you decide that he doesn't have that kind of power over you, over your worth, right? Healing happens when you let him off the hook for deciding whether or not you're worthy and you take control of your self-esteem. You take your self-esteem into your own hands and you decide that you are good enough regardless of what he does or doesn't do. So a lot of people believe that infidelity creates these wounds, right? They hurt us and um, we're hurting and we're betrayed and all these things. But personally, I believe that it magnifies a wound that is already existing within you. So if you made his affair mean that you feel like you aren't good enough, chances are that that is something you have always felt about yourself in many areas of your life. And the infidelity hurts that much more because it's confirming this lie that you've been believing about yourself for so long. So notice what lies come up for you when you think about the affair and what meaning you're assigning to them and then change them, right? So tell yourself the truth about things. If you feel that he cheated, right, because you're too fat or too thin, for example, the truth is that you are worthy of loyal love despite your weight. Remind yourself often, every time it comes up. If you feel like the other person is better than you in some regard, tell yourself that you're the best at being you and you deserve to be chosen as you are, as is. That is how you heal, realizing that whatever is happening with him is distracting you from your internal process. And focusing on your internal process and changing these lies that you've been telling yourself is really the path forward. It's the breakthrough that you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for an infidelity recovery specialist and you'd like to join my affair breakthrough program where I walk you through your healing journey and help you save your marriage, then make sure you watch my two day free mini course It's going to be linked in the description box below where I teach you how to do just that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this has served you as much as it served me making it for you. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and watch these other videos if you enjoyed this one. Until next time, bye.